Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Steinbear, and we've been checking out the new meta ever since the Moon Shield got added. So let's jump into some ranked Ranger gameplay to see what kind of builds we can come up with in this new meta. All right. Well, first of all, we will take a cheap spike, uh, Walrus Tusk, I should say. And I almost want to go leather armor early. Probably isn't the best call to make, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. We'll go garlic as well. We'll go uh, pretty block heavy if we can get an early uh, moon shield somehow. If we can get shield of valor and a mana orb to make the moon shield, we're going to want as many other block items as we can get. And I mean, it won us this round. It won us that round. We didn't even run out of block by the time it came to... Uh, to finish the round so we'll go ahead and take you we can put you there uh or actually maybe i swap those and put you there to get some cleansing for poison of course we don't face poison but that's all right i think we beat this guy because i don't know if his goobert is going to go off fast enough oh oh maybe maybe yeah nice Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, no, none of that. We do need more bag space. I don't think we need stamina at the moment. We may regret saying that later. I will take more healing. All right, let's continue on from there. Let's see what we got to look forward to from Ski Yi. I mean, we're, we're doing good so far. Those spikes fucking suck. But hopefully we can get the win. Yeah, just barely. We had one left. There's three wins in a row. All right. Um, take you and you to make our own spike shield. Those spike shields have been real pesky. Uh, we can move this stuff around as well. So then we can get both of those in our... Uh, in our uh, ranger bag to get the extra crit chance from them. Anything in the ranger bag gets an extra 3% crit chance uh, for each clover you have. We only have one, so it's only 3% right now, but we do pl plan to have, and it's not per clover, it's per luck, and the clover gives luck. It's, you know, but uh, we do, will plan to have more of that by the end, so that uh, buff will make more sense. All right, Goju, you're down A, and there's a mana orb, so we can make our magic staff, cheap bag there, and might as well buy the stone, continue on again. And now we'll, we got our spike shield, so we will be able to deal damage back to people. And uh, we might get our first loss here against Let's Go Womb. Uh, because we're getting that poison damage. I mean, yeah, they have a lot of healing. A lot of healing. That's okay. First loss on round five. I will take it all day long. Let's go ahead and then put you there. Go you there. Actually do like that. There's another clover. And I maybe should have taken customer card. Ooh, and Blueberry. There we go. Blueberry gets us... Uh, I'm wondering if I should save this health potion to make a mana potion. Nah, we'll be okay. Blueberry gets us mana to, act, to use to activate our magic staff, so that's great. Crit chance is at 16% with that already. And, ooh, got that armor buff from their stone skin potion, but that's all right. We're going to take them out. We got no no worries here. No worries at all. There we go. Win number five. And we are looking for Shield of Valor. Perfect. And you can go there. You go there. All right. Shield of Valor is there. Another cheap bag. Love finding that. And... Uh... I do kind of want to buy that. 
Maybe I put you there, you there. There we go. And we'll get started. We'll only get, oh, we'll get 21. Next round is our uh, subclass phase. So we get extra gold to use to buy our subclass. And hopefully we should get this win. Yeah, we're doing good. We got this one. We got that one. Win number six. All right. Uh, I think what we probably want to do is take Yggdrasil Leaf for the mana generation. And we really want to find... Uh, we really want to find another mana orb coming up here soon. Okay. So we can combine with the Shield of Valor, get our Moon Shield on. And uh, then also we'll probably redesign our bag at that point so we can get the garlic next to the moon shield as well and get lots of mana generation and once we get enough mana generation then hopefully we can get up to 32 man that fight went on forever what was that that was a 30 second fight damn okay we don't really need stamina but we do need the bag space so i'm going to take that and again we're looking for mana orbs um Although Blood Amulet is really good, I definitely want to make Vampiric Armor. And... Stone Skin would be good as well. Let's see, it gives 30% more. So be an extra 10. Hmm. Really need to find that mana orb. That's the most important thing. I don't want to lose sight of getting that. Uh, we can take that for the time being. And actually, I'm going to buy that as well. Because like I said, we do need the bag space. We do need that bag space. So let's keep it up. And hopefully... Oh, we do still only have the... Uh, Blueberry as mana generation, and I really need to do something about Yggdrasil Leaf. I have really bad positioning on that. Uh, been kind of hyper fixating on getting the uh, mana orb, so I need to need to kick myself in the ass a little bit and make sure that I'm actually winning these rounds instead of just focusing on getting one thing that isn't necessarily the most important thing at the moment. Probably okay to sell that. Um, you know what? Let's just empty here and redesign because I don't think don't think I necessarily have the best the best design. The best uh, organization, I'll say at the moment so you go there you go there you go there nope you go there uh yeah that's probably okay you can go there you can go there uh you go there you go there you go there actually you go there and you go there all right, and then just boop, boop, boop. No room for that clover. Um, there's a mana orb. Ooh, and it's on sale. Fuck. Okay. Um, I think I lose this clover. Actually, no, I lose this heal. Move you there, move you there. There we go. All right, and then we get started. Still got three hearts, so even if we lose here as we are, you know, kind of in a combination round, but let's see how it does. I mean, we start out with over 100 armor already, so let us continue on. All right, we're taking them down. We're about to get to fatigue. We're up by double their health, so hopefully uh, the fatigue will take them out before we lose because we're falling behind. Thank you. And now we got vampiric armor and our moon shield. So that moon shield will give us lots more mana and uh, 
Once I get some more bag space and can fit some more stuff over on this side, I can get more mana from Yggdrasil Leaf. And, ooh, speaking of, we can do that. Bop, bop, there we go. And let's see, we don't really need stamina, so I'm not gonna worry about that. This will let us go there, get that one. And, yeah, pretty soon, once we get another four bag, I can put that here, slide this sideways. Uh, and you know what? It actually might make sense. No, we'll do that in a little bit. Uh, once we get our next bag for there, there it is there. We'll buy that next round. Then we can slide the spike shield over, flip the vampiric armor and, uh, and do what we gotta do. Let's slow this down. So yeah, we are, yeah, every time this, every time our vampiric armor goes off, let's see, it should tell us we lose 10 and gain 26, as opposed to normally we would lose 10 and gain 20. So it's an extra six armor each time, which is then getting us extra um, mana from the, from the moon shield. That can go there, that slides over, that goes down. That comes down there. Uh, that can then go there and that goes there. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Now, if I can find another bloody amulet, I can really make things silly. Let's see. Don't really need stamina. The bag space would be nice though. Especially with it on sale. I need to find another nature item now. Also being able to put like that there is pretty freaking cool. Uh, and then let me go here. You go there. You go there. You go there. Hmm. All right, we'll see how that goes. Uh, probably didn't need to save that spike, actually. I originally thought about it as a nature item to fill in some of these slots up here. Yeah, I mean, look at that armor just continuously stacking up. Uh, no matter how much damage we're taking here, we're just stacking more and more armor. We're almost up to 300, passing 300. Oh my God, there's win number nine. Hell yes. Okay. Again, we don't need stamina, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, I kind of want to just buy this one because it's on sale and two because then it gets us that extra, fills in that extra Yggdrasil leaf slot. And then there's another Yggdrasil leaf slot filled. And do that, do that, get even more armor. And there's our blood amulet for next time to be able to make a second vampiric armor. Gotta love it, gotta love it. All right, let's slow this down so we can really watch this armor stack up. I mean, we could realistically probably sell our spiked armor. I don't know that it's necessary, or spiked shield. It's not necessarily doing much for us, but it is killing their stamina values because it does remove 0.3 and this removes 0.7. Uh, uh, granted, it's only 35 or 30% 30 of the time. If we had a, if we make some lucky pigs, we could increase that, but then we lose those nature items for Yggdrasil leaf. And I mean, fucking A, taking out the spike build like it's nothing. We still had 154 armor. So let's jump on into survival and see what we can do from here. 
Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos, and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. See if we can survive against some real builds. Uh, all right. We'll be making vampiric there. Uh, no. Hmm. If I slide you there and you there. Don't have, I have the luck covered with blueberry. Uh, I definitely have the mana covered. I need some spikes, which I realize I've been passing up spikes for a while now, but I think maybe I do take the genie lamp here. I think it could be worth it. Uh, ooh, this should be, this could be a tough one, actually. Double Fortuna's Grace with Hero Longsword. I mean, those are each doing a lot of damage. Every time that longsword crits, they're going to be hitting us four times. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of damage we got coming in for us. Ooh, don't like that. Don't love that. Okay. Well, we got a loss there, but that's okay. Didn't expect to go undefeated, that's for sure. Um, this wouldn't have really helped with that. And spike builds aren't really a problem for us. I think we just kind of got out damaged there. So let us go ahead and take... Uh, can I actually like do this like that and then or maybe even like one over I'd love to be able to fit this like next to both of them and get a bunch of garlic on it. There we go. Okay, and so then this garlic can come over here. Speed that one up too. And then acorn collar doesn't seem like the worst option, to be honest with you. Uh, and definitely clover isn't either. I do lose a slot from Yggdrasil, but I don't think it's the end of the world, especially since I then get extra love for, for the uh, moon shield. And yeah, I'm not going to keep re-rolling. I'd love to find another, a pineapple. I think that would be real beneficial here. Let's slow it down so we can watch our armor stack up. I don't think we have any problem against this build, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, not a problem. Not an issue at all. Okay, so we can go ahead then and drop you there to make our crit wood staff. Uh, I think glowing crown could be good, except we're gonna use the invulnerability aspect of it immediately, so maybe not. Uh, second, second genie lamp to get our spikes quicker, especially on sale, that's not a bad call. Like I said, I'd love a uh, I would love a um, a pineapple to get more spikes. Again, let's slow it down. Watch this in real time. And there we go. 
magic staff went on or uh, genie lamp went off buff and magic staff we got plenty of armor so we don't need to worry about that uh there's 106 damage crit another 106 damage crit and just a plain old 60 damage attack this uh went off once and then we also got the buffs from it man still had 328 armor where were we at dps wise uh oop, we're still on heal there we go uh ooh, 32.9 33 damage per second uh all right fuck yes man still got two rounds left so i can go ahead and throw you there and there's the pineapple i knew you were around here somewhere friend so let us see what can i do here um I think your best home is going to be like here. Um, or maybe like, oh no, because then I lose two from you. All right, there's that. Beautiful. Nice. That's great. All right, Blueberry can come hang out uh, over here, speeding those two guys up. And yeah, I think we're good here, honestly. I think we're good here. That's hitting all those. Perfect. Hell yeah. All right, I'm looking forward to this. Ooh, and we got the Revenge of Fortunas, our opportunity to take our vengeance against the Fortunas builds. Uh, so let's see how we do. Uh, not a problem at all like just not even not even anything holy hell 39 damage per second fucking a yeah it doesn't look like it's any higher at any other point uh but we only got our genie lamp to go off once so that is pretty fucking impressive if you ask me all right where can we throw this guy i think that's actually probably a pretty good spot for you you get four activators there, uh, and they're pretty quick. I mean, not the quickest, not the quickest, but not the slowest, that's for sure. And let's see, throw you up here. Yeah, I don't know where else. I guess I could like move this here. Put that there and then put you there. Ooh, that's actually even better. It's actually way better. Get us lots of mana that way. And more luck. Um, this is our last round. Kind of want to speed up something. Uh, but I'm worried because if I buy this, I do have seven. So why don't I buy that and see? Ooh, now I need to sell something for two. I think it's time to sell you. Sorry, friend. And now that goes. That goes. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done it because I could sell the bag. Now I have an extra two. Oh, well. Torch it is. Or uh, coal, I mean. All right, let's slow her down. Ooh, we got big poison build here. We got lots of carrots, though. So hopefully our carrots can get us debuffed fast enough to survive. Oh, my God. We are fucking decimating. It doesn't even matter that we have 100 poison. We didn't even care that we had 100 poison. At the end of the day, we're doing 37 damage per second with our uh, crit wood staff huge amounts of armor just completely neglecting uh just completely didn't even fucking give a shit about how much poison we had wow my god my god so uh healing uh at the end here i mean we didn't even have that much healing uh only 47 and 28 it was the armor generated i that's that's another stat i'd love to see is armor generation which I think they're probably going to add here soon. I mean, damage dealt, they dealt us 433 just in poison damage. Just in poison damage. 
the death scythe doesn't really do much. Yeah, I mean, wow, wow. Uh, probably without all the carrots, that would have been a lot more scary. I mean, the carrots were cleansing a lot of our, uh, a lot of our damage. But uh, this is a pretty cool build. I mean, pretty pretty cool. Uh, definitely love the extra uh, armor generation. It's freaking great. Going along with the Critwood staff, it helps get us mana. I mean, what was our Critwood staff? That one time it only went off once also. So we definitely didn't get, here it is here, uh, definitely didn't get as many activations as we would have liked. Uh, I could have incorporated an instant lamp kind of effect into this build, but I didn't really want to bother with a bunch of stone skin potions and mana potions and stuff. Those are sometimes hard to come by. I wanted to try and focus on getting the vampiric armor and the moon shield going. So that's why I didn't do the the double lamp on the Critwood staff, but I had a blast with this build. Hopefully you had an awesome time watching it. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video every single day. If you have any comments on this build or other builds you'd like to see me try, other games you want to see me play, please go ahead and leave it right down in the comments. I love hearing from you and I try and respond to every single person. If you have uh, if you want to interact further with the Herrenstein Bear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our member exclusive Discord, early access to every video I post, access to exclusive members only videos, and even a shout out in every single one of my videos like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob Burns. You're amazing. Thank you for your support. Thank you to everybody else who's been liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing. You're all awesome as well. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. See ya.